Okay, guys, welcome. So um, Christy and I, for this team call, we're kind of doing a little series back to the basics. So last week, um, we kind of touched on some other things. Today's posting. So last week was connections, like invite, or not invites, but connecting with people, finding people, messaging people through stories, um, responding to likes and your posts and things like that. So this week we're going to focus on, hang on one second, can I, okay. Um, so this week we are going to focus on I, basics of posting. Hey, Chrissy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk briefly about pictures, tips on pictures, a few apps, and then we're gonna go into some of the key posts that we want people to start focusing on, or really focus on, because I think we forget. We, we're kind of just, whatever we're thinking of that day, we're posting and there's no strategy to it, and there's really gotta be a strategy of how you're posting. So like when I'm thinking of um, doing this challenge, so the first post that I did was um, engaging people with, okay, how many pounds do you wanna lose? So I did a post about how many pounds you wanna lose. Then I posted a, a quote that said average American gained seven to 10 pounds um, over that between the holidays. So then again, I'm engaging people, getting them thinking, like they're seeing my post about how, well, how much weight do I want to lose? Oh my gosh, people really gained seven to 10 pounds over the holidays. Then the next post is, okay, here's the transformation, which was Chrissy, like take action. You know, you have to have strategies on how you're posting. So you're leading people to you. Um, and, and engaging them in that way. So Chrissy was my little post today to kind of say, okay, it's time to take action. Let's get started now um, before the new year starts. And then the next couple of days, I'm going to start inviting to the group and also be um, doing a few more shout outs and, uh, and things like that. Um, but anyways, let me go back to um, just starting with picture tips. So it's really important, you know, you may follow people on Instagram and, um, I'm just going to mute you guys just so, okay. Um, so pictures obviously want to be appealing. So the biggest keys are your lighting. If you can take pictures outside, I think I'm going to get one of those halo lights. Um, like Christina Russell got one. She, um, she uses it and she loves it. So I'm thinking I'm getting one of those halo lights because sometimes I look like super yellow, you know? <laughs> Asian people are yellow anyways, but, um, you know, it's just like more yellow or the lighting is bad or, you know, it's just not good. So I might get one of those halo things. You can get them from Amazon to help with lighting. You want to make sure that your background is not cluttered and messy because that can be distracting from what you want to focus on, whether it's your Shakeology or it could be your face or whatever. You just want to make sure the background is somewhat clean. So sometimes my kitchen can be an absolute disaster and I'll just like push stuff aside. So like one part looks nice and clean <laughs> so I can take a picture. Um, you also, and the other thing is, is when you're posting for, um, when you're sharing pictures or whatever for your posts, I know sometimes it's nerve wracking for a lot of people to do selfies or they don't like selfies. I hated, I hated doing selfies I, and I still do because um, I have Gray's eye disease. And so sometimes I have to, I feel like my eyes bulge and it just, you know, I'm self-conscious about certain things. Everybody has their insecurities. Um, so posting selfies is kind of hard for me, but people engage with those more. They want to see you. They want to see what you're doing. Um, they seem to be more responsive when they see pictures of you. Um, Chrissy, do you want to, I think those are my main points, but you were talking about action shots and videos. Is that, did you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So I, I don't like selfies cause I feel like stupid. Like, <laughs> you know, like sometimes I, after a certain point, I'm just like, mm, you know, so I, I tape my, my, um, workouts every day. I actually tape them in fast forward cause I use them for stories, but it's a really great way to get some pictures of yourself. Um, when you hit the edit on, at least on my phone, um, cause mine's going fast. So when I pull up the video, hit edit, 
now I can move through the picture really slowly. Chrissy, back and forth. What do you mean you tape it in fast forward? Oh, my phone has, um, thank goodness that's what you wanted. I was like, is she signaling me that I'm muted? <laughs> Cause I would do that. Uh, my phone has time lapse. My iPhone. Does your do you have an iPhone? Yeah. So I, I shoot it in time lapse and then sometimes when I wanna if I wanna slow it down, I can put it like in Viva video and like slow the speed a little bit. Um like the other day, I didn't share it on social media, I just shared it in my group, but I had like a breakdown at the end of my workout. And like I've talked before about like crying in my workout. I think it happens to every everybody or most people. Um but it was on video because I videotaped my whole workout. So I took that piece and I slowed it down a little bit in Viva video. And I just took like those eight, like eight seconds of it and posted it in just my challenge group to share that with them. But so yeah, you can get some candid things like even, you know, like with my baby in the background, like you can get some real candid things, some screenshots from taping your workouts. Um, quick question so you use so that was app. like that's like one trick i use what what is the um what's the app that you use to slow down the video to slow down you oh know, you do the fast forward or the forward yes whatever what is that called yes viva video v-i-v-a uh -huh. video okay got it um i mean you can tape you can tape your workout in regular time too you don't have to tape it in fast forward um but just taping at least some portion of your workout will totally give you um some screenshots of yourself that you can then and i don't always take them then like sometimes i'm just trying to write a post and then i'll go back to a video and look through it and and get some nice shots a nice shot um so yeah that's one thing i do do you want me to keep going with my list okay um the other app that we really like is Lightroom because it doesn't just brighten, it brightens in a different way than your own um, camera. So you can bring the picture up, the brightness up on it really nicely. Um, there's filters on there too. I haven't found one I love, but I just bring the, the picture up to um, a certain brightness and then I save it. And then I use, I just use one of my iPhone's filters right now. I mean, I don't know. I'm almost 40. Like, I don't have time for all these filters. So I just pick the same filter and I just use it, you know. Um, and a lot of times on Facebook, I actually don't filter my photo. I just lighten it to where it looks nice. Because I want it to look, like, Facebook's, like, more real. You know, Instagram's very, you know, um, whatever. But sometimes when I'm just posting a picture, I'm like, I'm not doing this on Facebook. Like I'm not doing this like perfect picture, you know? So, but that's up to like, you got to get your own style with it, but it still looks nice. Um, Photofy is another one I use. P H O T O F Y. I use that to write on my photos. Um, Tanya was saying she uses mix on pics, M I X on P I X, which I haven't seen, but I'm going to try that one out. Um, and then using stories, you can use stories to write, like even a lot of times if I'm putting something in my story and I write on it, I'll save the picture when I'm done or the video, usually the picture, and then I'll just crop it to be a square, you know, how it like puts that extra on it. And then I have a picture, like I have a story and now I have a picture too. Um, so that's a nice little easy cheat cheat way if you don't have a lot of time um and then pick collage that's something you use tanya pick collage i've never used pick collage but. I, do, I use that all the time for like my shout outs and recognition so then you can put your picture and then you can do a title or anything. i need to use that Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's where thinking. I get all. That's where I do all my stuff. And then with the Lightroom, I did find a filter. Finally, I like bought like ten of them or fifteen of them, and then I finally found one that I like that I use for almost okay. all my pictures. But there's sometimes it doesn't. 
it doesn't look right and I'll just lighten it up and um, use, but I did find a light room. Um, yeah, I just need to take time to find one because I, you know, for me, I want it to look real and, you know, not that other ones look fake, but you know what I'm saying. If they're too perfect, I'm just like, this is not representing my life at this point. So, <laughs> um, all right. So now we're going to talk about post ideas and we're going to like wrap where we're headed is for us to all have like something to post every day, basically of the week or five, you know, five of the seven days. Um, so Tanya, you're going to start that, right? Yes. Okay. So we're just going to focus on five different posts um, that we want us all to kind of incorporate in our, in our weekly posts, if possible. So the first one is talking about community. So these are going to be your community posts, um, your fit community. It could be Fit Mama. It could be your own um, business, your own fit community group. It could be your own challenge group. So it's your community and it's discussing, it's posts about transformations of people that have had. So, um, or a challenge that's going on. Um, you can shout out your coaches or your um, challengers. And um, where was that one? Oh, okay. Maybe on this one. Um, or you can do like ideal rock star of the week every Friday. Um, so somebody that's been, you know, showing up, doing a great job, maybe they're encouraging other people. Um, I have a recognition for somebody, but sharing that with your public, you know, viewers, uh, like on Facebook. Um, so that's sharing about your community. And so I did a post about um, our coach team, our mama family, and I wrote, this is family or something like that. So I just talked a little bit about coaching, but about the community aspect and the friendships and, and the relationships that you have. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about, what was this? Maybe it was this part when you're doing like a shout out or transformation. Um, it could be also um, not just focused on weight loss it could be just about life and how it's changed your life. So there's a girl in my group today and she posted this beautiful picture. She's in Greece and she shared this with, and I'm thankful when, when people like this share stuff um, with others in the group, but she's been in Greece for like over a week and she just hiked like tons of mountains or whatever, like, or not mountains, just the hills of Greece. And she said, okay, time to fess up. I'm very behind on my workouts with MM100. I'm not proud of this, but I, I also want to say that I have been really proud of my ability to climb up just about everywhere in Greece. Not sure if you know this, but this country is extremely mountainous. Thanks to the work I've put in for the past several months, I can experience it all to the fullest. And by the way, she said a total of 300 steps from this one bay up. But so that as somebody had posted, but that's something that you can share about a life changing experience. So if she hadn't started Beachbody, she wouldn't have been able to enjoy this vacation, explore everything that she's wanted to and have the energy to just go and do. Um, and those are transformations. Those are important things that you want to share, not just the, you know, the physical changes, but the life changing experiences people are having. Um, so that is kind um, of, excuse me. Yeah. Um, Tanya, did she share that in your challenge group? She shared that in my core inspiration in my fit community page. So, so then would you go and say, can I share this on my own Facebook? So what I would do okay. is I always ask when somebody posts something like that, which it happens, um, I will ask them privately and see, you know, that was, you know, your message to our group was really inspiring. And I think it would help a lot of other people because it does. People are in that same boat. Like they don't have the energy to go out. And when they go on trips, they're, they're just out of shape and they don't have the energy and they could be inspired by this. So I just ask, can I share? And I might say, either share a picture of them um, or of whatever they shared and then little snippets of their, their testimonial um, on my Facebook page, which I am going to do, um, but she's still in Greece. I haven't had a chance to reach out to her, but yes. I like your wording too, where you say a shout out. 
mm-hmm. too. Right. You know, um, I don't know. I just like that. Yes. Oh, thanks. Uh, it, you know, <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> so that's, I just never happens. know how to say it to them. I'm like, can I share? Can I, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, that's what you're doing though. You're just giving them a little recognition. That's all I say um, is I'd like to do a shout yeah. out and, and tell them why. Yeah. Because obviously yeah. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have brought, been brought to my attention unless there's something about that post or about what they said that I feel would impact somebody else. And so I just am upfront yeah. honest, like what you just said, I know that there are girls because you're in communication with so many people in your group and your team. And you like, you hear somebody like, oh my gosh, I'm going through really, really rough time with nutrition. And I'm so angry with myself. And you hear somebody else saying the same thing, but then one person is willing to share that with the group um, or share that with you. And, and you can talk to them. Would you be willing if we share that with the group? Cause there's other people that are struggling too. And I think it would help. Um, so you're just being upfront and honest, encouraging them to share because it will help the other people in your group. And it also, when you do it on Facebook, sometimes people say, no, I don't want it shared. Um, especially if it's a private message, I don't want it shared on your Facebook page, but you can share it in our fit community page. I do that too. I do ask them, but since Michelle put it in my core inspiration page, I'll ask her if it's possible to share it um, on my Facebook page. Yeah. I've asked people too and said, can I say someone, you know, if they don't want me to say them, I'll be like, can I say one of my challengers or something, you know, and usually, usually they're okay with that. Yes. You can do that. Um, just, yeah. One of my challengers or a a good friend. Yeah. Okay. Is it my turn? Is it my turn or do you have more? I don't, um, why I'm scrolling and scrolling on our notes here. Oh, you're muted. Tanya, you're muted. Oh, you're doing, um, I just finished community about like shout outs, coaches, friends. Oh, here I am coaching. Yeah. Coaching. Okay. So that was one, our first posting topic was community. So our second is coaching. Um, so one thing you can share about coaching is the friendships. I actually was telling Tanya this. I like that Tanya always, like, when she talks about someone, she's always just like, my friend Chrissy, my friend Jory, my friend Candy, you know, like, it's very, and we are friends. I don't know. I've always overthought it, like, fellow coach or something. It's like, who talks like that? So I like just that part that you do it. But, um, yeah, the friendship. So is this your like, this is a major network of friends in my life. Like I have a couple of groups of friends, I think really two. And then a third that like also includes family. And like, this is one of them. Like the, co- our, our coaching community is one of my groups of friends, you know? Um, so that's a great thing to share. Obviously the income, um, it's still really hard for me to talk about income. And I, I think that I've realized that no matter what the income is, it's always going to be hard. So I've found it easiest to pick one very simple thing with the income. If I'm talking really just about the income, like just one really simple thing. And you don't have to have like this big story. It really can just be like something as simple as throwing up like, Oh my gosh, my, my, my coaching check paid for such and such this week, you know, whatever, whatever it was, um, my kids Halloween costumes, you know, whatever it might be. Um, so, and then also sharing other people's income. So like, if you see, um, someone post, like Candace shares them a lot into our page I would send her a quick message and just say, can I share that on my page? Um, but if not, I think you definitely could share it in your, in your community page at the very least, you know, and in our challenge groups, because at least if you get them in your challenge, in your challenge groups, those are the people that are already using our products. They're like our prime people to maybe start coaching. So, um, and then obviously if it's someone else, if it's someone, you know, like if I'm talking, if I share about my income, 
you, t you totally can make a post about that, you know. Um, the flexibility. So, um, you know, like just now, I actually just talked about the flexibility with somebody. I just was like, hey, let me just get back to you. I just have to run. I have a quick call and then I'm going to get back to, you know, um, I have the call. I'm going to get back to you, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, I don't even know how I would work if like, if how I would do anything else like with the baby at this point, you know? So however that works in your life, whatever the flexibility is, that's an option um, that you can work from anywhere. So if you're, if you are working somewhere else, like you can share that stories is a great place to share all these little tidbits, you know, um, that you make your own hours that oh i like this one that you're part of something greater than yourself so you know just even like with the whole jamie fitzpatrick thing you know um i don't know like seeing i actually thought about more than like everybody doing it i thought about him like i thought about like gosh if that's you you know and then that's kind of a bigger thing like that pouring out of love but like just on our team um when you see that someone's had a family member pass or something happen, you know, and everyone rallies, um, that's just a great thing to share, you know, with people because people don't have that in their lives. Um, and then the team, the sense of team. And I think also with the team is like the fun of it, you know, the, that part where we push each other, you know, we're silly. We have a team like this team call, like take a screenshot, put it in your stories, you know, share what the lifestyle is actually like too. So did I miss anything? Did you, did you go over the accountability? I think I said it, but okay. yeah, I mean the accountability definitely, I think the biggest thing with accountability is that if you're helping either, even one other person, if you're telling even one other person, do your workout, right? You're not gonna be a hypocrite. You're probably gonna do yours too. Um, or if you've been slacking, you're going to be like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I'll get back on board here. So yeah, the accountability, maybe I did skip it. The accountability is definitely a big one. Yeah. I mostly talk about, I mostly talk, like you're going to find that you mostly talk about what it means to you the most, but it is good to like, as we talked about these things, it is good to hit the other topics because somebody might not need the income but they need some friends or they got plenty of friends and income but you know they need something else the accountability or um you know the flexibility whatever it might be that's a really good point that is an absolutely good point so it is important to touch on all of those because you just don't know why people are coaching people are coaching for a variety of reasons so that's a really good point to bring up. Okay. So the third one is fitness. So this is, seems to be an easy one that a lot of people do because we are touching, you know, you're posting your workouts. Um, you are sharing video selfies, whatever working out. Um, but the biggest thing is, is with these posts, is taking time, those moments um, during the week where you can actually go in depth, like how is it making you feel? Like what accomplishments? Have you increased your weights? Are you feeling stronger? Um, is, you know, are you feeling more flexible? Are you, is your endurance picking up? So talking about that whole transformation physically, but also mentally, because it, uh, there's a huge mental piece transformation with all of these programs that we've ex experienced. Each of us have experienced our own um, through them, I'm sure. So talking about your experience with the programs, because it's not just going to the gym and working out, there's something different about these Beachbody programs. You've got the trainers. Um, so uh, sometimes if I hear a quote or something that they say, I'll record it. I like just listen to what Amoyla said. Um, it's, you know, it's inspiring or whatever. And just, just share, share that with people so that they can hear that these trainers still have an impact on us, even though we're just watching a video and it's not live and it's not face to face. Um, and then, so 
your experience with the programs, talking about the trainers, talking about your mental and physical transformations, um, and then also your accomplishments. So not only like your inches lost, whatever photo changes or, you know, how your body has changed, um, but just accomplishments for just finishing a hundred workouts and committing to that, you know, just doing that. Um, so those are all really important pieces of the fitness posts that we want you to think about when you are doing those each week. Next. You know what too, with the fitness posts, you can also include something going on in your challenge group. Sometimes when I don't like, there's so much going on in that challenge group that a lot of times I don't share. Um, so even like today, Jory's here, Jory, her, she posted this morning and hers was about, um, oh my gosh, why can't I remember? It was like, why do you work out besides the physical, you know, like another reason, just a great thing to share on your own page. Like when you need, you know, um, talk about, that that was in your challenge group that day and you want, you know, and share what your, what your other reasons are on your page. Super simple. Um, okay. So now I'm going to talk about inviting. That's number four. So a post that's an actual invitation. Okay. So these are usually, um, a lot of times we do these with like some before and afters, um, some kind of results of some sort or maybe a picture of ourselves, you know, like sweaty selfie type of thing. Um, usually if it's, if it's an invite to a challenge group. So what we have coming up is um, we have the finish strong 60 day countdown. So like in a nutshell, what we're doing is we are counting down to new year's, but when we hit December and we have 30 days left, so when we hit start hitting the end of November, we're going to push it as a 30 day. Like we're going to keep the group, and now it's going to be a 30 day countdown. Um, we're going to have a weekly winner in there so that people can come in, right? We're doing a weekly winner, right? Yes. Okay. And, um, so that is primarily like I'm inviting to MM 100 or the work, but people can be doing anything in there. It's okay. They don't, they don't have to be doing one of those, but that's primarily what I'm inviting to, because I have results, I'm going to have results from MM 100. And then, um, you know, maybe people that did that already want to do the work. Um, so that's what I'm, that's my plan. And then we also have the, um, tone it up Turkey challenge. So in our fit, groups our fit community pages we're um doing a 30-day one i know jory you're doing something else um right you're gonna do something else yes but you have that to invite you to so um we're post definitely do a post about whatever you're doing that's a free challenge but don't forget like as you're inviting you want to invite I like to invite first to the challenge group and then backpedal. So when someone's like, I can't because of money, because of time, because of this, because of that, I'm like, cool, come in my fit community page and, you know, do this other free challenge instead. Um, and then we're going to do a three day refresh post Thanksgiving. So we have, did we nail down that we're going to have it, they can actually start like right after Thanksgiving? Yeah, they, they can have the option. We'll right. probably start um, sharing about it two weeks before Thanksgiving, just in case somebody wants to order three-day refresh yeah. at the end of the second week. So maybe we'll run it like two weeks so mm -hmm. that if people, we can push it again yeah. like the day after Thanksgiving. And so when people are feeling like crap, they'll finally order it and then they can do it. <laughs> yeah. So we have that as well. And then we're also going to have a coach sneak peek oh, in November. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. Yeah. So that's what's coming up to invite to, but right now, like this week right here, um, and also next week, we're inviting to the 60 day countdown because it's really, it's starting prep on Monday, but like, I'm going to get started with my workout so people can get started right away Monday. Mm -hmm. Um, you still have that leeway to, to get people going. Um, and so I'm kind of, we're kind of inviting to that and the tone it up, the free challenge together. So you'll have your own posts about each, 
but then when you're actually talking to people, if they tell you no about um, the 60 day, then you can have them do your free challenge instead. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, and so the last one, the last type of post that we want to focus on is lifestyle. And this is sometimes I forget because I'm either not doing much <laughs> during the day and I'm just working or whatever, doing boring stuff, running errands, but um, trying to share what you're doing in your stories and in your posts. Lifestyle could be recipes. So um, I made like turkey sloppy joes. So I tried to put, share that. Um, motivational quotes like, if you're watching a TV show, um, I know Candy, you've done that before. Um, and then like books and family. I mean, typically most people are doing that, but just remembering to sprinkle that in um, as well as your, your posts about your families. So. All right. So well, <laughs> yes. So now this is going to be your homework. Okay. So we want you to, Take all these topics, and we can we can uh, print this up for you guys so that you, if, if you don't have notes, I, we can post it on our team pages. Um, but you're going to take each topic, and in the next like week, seven to ten days, okay, you're going to make a post, one of each of these posts. Um, I say the invite post, if you're doing the free challenge and a challenge group, then you're gonna have to do six posts because you have to do both of those. So you're going to do, um, why can't I find this? A post about community, the community. You're going to do a post about coaching, a post about fitness, a post about lifestyle, and then a post where you're actually inviting to your challenge group. And again, if you're doing a free, the free challenge, then that's going to be two of those because you need, you need to have one. You could combine them like um, Tanya and Jory, you're in my free community. I don't know if you are in one of ours, Candy, but um, Tanya did one this morning where she was like, this is what's happening in the month of November and she put hearts. I just, I just copied and used it. <laughs> it was like, she put hearts. And I just said at the bottom of the post, like, tell us which hearts you're doing. So it was like the 60 day, the tone it up, the free tone it up. And then she had another one that I replaced with the three day refresh. So you could do that too, where it's one post, a before and after, here's what I have coming up for you guys. You know, what would you like info on? And like, they could do different hearts message me if you're, you know, if your heart shy or something like that, like you could be cute about it. So, um, so that is your homework. And then basically we're going to rinse and repeat. So, um, the next week you're still going to keep those other types of posts and then the invite will just change. If like the week of the coach sneak peek, your invite will be to that. Um, for the three day refresh, your invite will be to that you know, the week that we have that coming up. Um, and in between, you can always be inviting to your, your fit community. Um, did I miss anything, Tanya? I don't think so. I think, I think, okay. we, I think we covered everything. So, okay. yeah. So basically, um, you know, if we could print off you know, what we went over. I don't know if you guys got notes, but um, just try to focus on post this week and into next week and see what happens. Let's finish off this month strong and try to get our three sales so we can get into that group. Well, Chrissy, you're already in it. Yeah. Tanya, I, I think if we use our notes here, as long as someone's watched the call, they'll be able to yeah. Use these notes. Yeah. I'll share it in my, so. on my team page. So yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks so much guys for joining us. Did you guys have questions? Thank you guys. Oh yeah. Do you have any questions? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Jory, you made it through. You didn't get kicked off. Yay.